Please take your seats quickly, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Hi, guys. Welcome to One Minute Tennis.com. In today's session, I want to talk about power on the ground strokes. Now, the major source of power in the last 20, 30 years in tennis on the ground strokes has been rotational force. But how do we know if we're rotating enough and what happens if we over rotate? I want to show you how to get exactly the right amount of rotation in your ground strokes every single time. Now, once players have got the basic techniques of the ground strokes, they essentially fall into three categories. The players who don't rotate, the players who over rotate, and the players who rotate perfectly. Now, the first group is by far the largest group with zero rotation, as most players simply turn, hold that position, and hit entirely with the upper body. This robs them of a lot of power, but it makes for good consistency and it's a little bit easier. But I think the reason that players end up in that position, even though tennis coaches all over the world are talking about rotation, is that they over rotate when they try to rotate. And this is the second largest category of players where players will make, go into position here and then over rotate. Over rotation results in almost zero control and a lot of balls just flying out. You see on both sides, on the backhand, you have players who over rotate. On the one handed backhand, this is very common. You see this position where the players over rotate. Now, there are several solutions for this, but the one that I like the most is to think about the pockets. And the reason I like this is it's one solution that fits to all three ground strokes the forehand, the one handed backhand, and the two handed backhand. So as the ball approaches, I make my unit turn from here. And naturally, my front pocket will start to point to the ball. The same on the backhand and the same on the one-handed backhand. Now, I don't mean that you turn and point it. I mean that the pocket naturally will point towards the oncoming ball. So now we have the front pocket pointing to the ball. And then whatever stance you're in, I want you to point the back pocket to the ball. On the two-handed backhand, front pocket, and back pocket. On the one-handed backhand, front pocket, and back pocket. By basing the rotation around the pockets, you're getting exactly the right structure to the strokes, and it has rhythm. If I turn this into a dance-type move, you can see that although I'm restricted, I have excellent rotation within the parameters of the stroke. So I now put my hand on my hip and front pocket to back pocket, front pocket to back pocket. I can do this with the one-handed backhand, with the two hands I need the extra hand. So front pocket and back pocket, front pocket and back pocket. By using the hips to make the movement, you have rhythm and yet you do not over rotate. This is relatively easy to apply and it gives you perfect rotation in the strokes. So remember, when the ball's approaching, point the front pocket to the ball and you have the correct unit turn and then swing through and the back pocket reaches the ball and you'll have perfect rotation, perfect rhythm and perfect power. I hope this makes sense. I'd love to know how it works in your game or the players that you coach. You know, I love your feedback and I try to reply to every single comment. And to practice rotation, rhythm or any other part of your game have a look at our partners playyourcourt.com they send professional tennis coaches to your local courts or they find practice partners of your level in your area it's a great service it's inexpensive and if you click the link in the comment section below there's a discount off their membership right now and if you like this idea and any of the other ideas that we do have a look at what online coaching can do for you we're helping players of all ages, all levels, and all over the world with a unique blend of personalized lessons, video analysis, and one-to-one -one online coaching. It's a great service and it really works. But remember, for power in your ground strokes, you need perfect rotation. Make sure that the front pocket is the end of the backwards rotation and the back pocket is the end of the forwards rotation. And you will have more rhythm, more power, and more control in your strokes. Thanks for watching and see you next time for more unique tennis lessons that really work.